name is Carl Robertson, aka Scrub Killer, and I play for Renault Sport Team Vitality. And we're here in Newark, New Jersey, for the Rock League World Championships. The energy in the arena is crazy. It's going to be over 7,000 people, I think. You know, all the fans, we just done a press conference. It's crazy, you know, the fans are dedicated. They travel across the world just to support Renault Sport Team Vitality. So, shout out to all the fans. Thank you guys for supporting us. Before the game, you know, wake up, get breakfast, all that. Go to the practice arena, practice for a few hours, play some scrims with the team, you know, and then right before we play, we'll just talk the game plan, what we want to do to win, just get our minds really focused on the game, and then after that, you know, we play the game. Representing the European region, playing out of the orange corner, put your hands together for Renault Vitality! Dès que tu rentres sur scène, que tu poses ton casque sur les oreilles, tu entends euh, quand même un peu le crowd, mais plus grand-chose, tu es vraiment dans ton monde avec tes deux coéquipiers. Renault Vitality, a disappointing finish at Dreamhack Dallas. Their fans know that this team is capable of so much more than what they showed at that tournament and at the World Championship. They expect to be in top form. They need to be in top form the whole way through. Very people begin on offense, get it underneath one. Now Decca out of the corner. Now the play so from the midfield. Scrub killer happy to find a hole in the defensive rotation, and that's a goal. And it's great passing coming out from Vitality as well. Decca and Siki tried to get this ball out. You can see Jules following it up on the clear. Now Scrub killer up against Siki. The pinch goes in Siki's favor all the way down to the orange. Paid up a look and now up with a challenge. Jules just completely dunks him and ties the game. Vitality can't break them down. And now back the Whoa. other way. Shots on target. And it's Siki who takes the lead for ground zero. And Vitality uh. just can't do it. Ground zero. Take game number one. La première game, franchement, on a manqué toutes nos occasions. C'est un peu mal passé. C'est dommage, que, mais bon, on a su réussir à bounce back. A lot of respect for both teams coming out now, and this one popped up by Scrub Hill. Oh, it's just gonna drop in. No connection there from the Vitality player, and they're up by one. He drop it back down to his teammate up against Dega, who's backwards in goal. Scrub Hill will find the far corner, put it in 3-0 now. Franchement, je suis un peu habitué à ce que Scrub il fasse un peu le, le guignol sur les trucs comme ça. Ça me fait plaisir parce que du coup, il est pas stressé. En plus, le public, il aime bien quand tout le monde est hype et tout ça. Donc, euh, je suis vraiment content pour lui que ça lui fasse plaisir. Et en même temps, ça fait plaisir au, au public. Donc, euh, c'est tout bébé. In overtime in game four. This could be the last one here for the series. Even Vitality afraid of making mistakes in overtime. Still the control in their favor. An opportunity here off the oh. back wall. It's Kana who drops it down. And Vitality take down Brown Zero in a 3 1 win. We knew playing against them that we got the better mechanics. So all we had to do was just keep the ball, keep doing solo out plays, keep the break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm incredibly happy with how it's gone today. Get that first game out of the way, get the result, get that experience on stage, and it's only going to get more and more. Tomorrow we've got one game, and that's against G2, the last team in our group. Jouer contre une équipe américaine, ça va être un peu plus dur parce que le public et moi être avec eux obligatoirement vu qu'on est français. Mais après, ça devrait le faire quand même. We're going to head off to our hotels now to relax, and we'll see you tomorrow. All of us, to be honest, we were just weren't playing our best on day two. Going for the dog, gets oh, the dunk! Oh, he got him! J-Naps! The only games we could win, we gave them. But like, day two, it wasn't a do or die game, so I guess that's probably the main reason why. That shot towards that very good handle, it 
Au final, euh, je pense que ça a été une bonne chose qu'on perde parce que du coup, euh, on s'est remis en question, on s'est vraiment super bien motivé. Quand je sors du stage, je pensais qu'on n'avait plus notre destin entre les mains. Quoi. Du coup, j'étais un peu dans le mal et au final, euh, j'ai su qu'on était qualifié d'office euh, 10 minutes plus tard. Donc, j'étais soulagé et super content en fait. We had eight teams left in the world. Everything that happened up to this point didn't matter. We had a reset and that was where we went from. This is day three of the World Championship and we're facing NRG. C'est la journée la plus importante de ma vie, l'unité, quoi. Donc euh, le matin qui est là, puis c'est levé, il m'a motivé. Dès qu'on s'est réveillé, j'étais motivé. J'ai essayé de motiver Faye et à mort. Parce que les défis il a un peu du mal à se motiver. Donc, euh... Il s'est levé en sautant de son lit, en mettant des coups de poing dans le vent et en disant euh, c'est parti, euh, aujourd'hui on défonce tout. Day 3, here we go. Let's get into the match. Vitality taking on NRG for a chance at top four and a chance to play in the grand finals. Let's get it underway. I can't wait to see how this one goes. We've got Vitality in the orange, NRG in the blue. Fireburner by himself gets this one all the way done. NRG scores first. I knew against NRG, like, we're going to have to play the best we ever played to beat them because they're going to bring their A game probably. I do think NRG is probably the hardest team in the world to beat. NRG takes game number one. Franchement, quand on NRG, on a peut-être un peu stressé. Donc c'est pour ça que le game était serré et qu'on n'a pas forcément super bien joué, super bien joué. Overtime in game two. Weather the storm, vitality two in their own corner. Close, but never able to really get that one just inside the lines. And that's oh. over his head. Very pink will win game two. After we drew 1-1, we were like, okay, well now we're equal, so let's just run away with it now, and nothing else when it changed. Vitality, doing what it takes, and now we're into game three, as he did. It was like a ceiling shot pass had done. I think it was Takedo, and he scored that. And after that, it kind of went into our favor. Game four. Crowd still firmly behind the North Americans. Vitality looking to play spoiler. k gets an early shot, and it's in. The defense is not in position, and the aggression pays off. Everything going the wrong direction. The clock has expired. They've got to keep it in the air. Garrett's up for it. Ferry Peak's got one. Fireburner gets his pass across, but nobody's home. It'll hit the ground, and that's it. Vitality will move on to the semifinals. On vient juste de battre euh, NRG, donc euh, au top quoi. The feeling after NRG was incredible. We made top four and from there on out it was a bonus. The last hope for the European region. Welcome to the stage, Renault. Moi, personnellement, j'avais perdu en finale contre les dernières L16, donc évidemment, j'avais un peu d'appréhension, parce qu'en plus, ils m'avaient bien défoncé, donc c'était un peu compliqué de les rejouer. Mais bon, c'était ma revanche, entre guillemets, donc j'ai tout donné. It's now time for our last semi-final to find out who is going to join G2 Esports in the grand finals. And there's a one miss, but here's Fairy Peak looking for the counter-attack. He'll probably put it in, and he does. Vitality scores first. Continuing that pressure on Vitality, Fairy Peak, and Ryzen actually wins it. Torment can't get it by him, and Fairy Peak will make it 2-0. Here's Torment up against Scrub Kill and Goal. A nice shot plays, but it's just a bit too high. Switchy's touch is too soft. Oh, what a dunk! And he gets the dunk on him, and now he's in. Six seconds left, back in for Squidward again, but no, the defense holds once more, and Vitality will get away with it. Torment out to Squishy, one last chance, and the block is still there.
game one. Nothing seemed to work for them. Like, like even times when we missed, we still managed to save it anyway. So it, I think it started frustrating them a little bit, and they tried to like change their play style, but it wasn't working. Like at the end, they were playing really passively, but it's not going to work. So. Amazing. Got to be the best of the best. You got to work hard. We've been working really hard for these past six months since Get Up joined. Put our whole lives into this. Everything comes down to this moment, and I'm really glad we can perform so far. So I really hope we can win the whole thing. The crowd was insane, like the Mexican wave, and like, there was like a sounding like an explosion or a train or something before. And I was like, whoa! So the crowd, the crowd was really loud, so it was it was pretty hype. Walking up. The grand finals of the Rocket League World Championship. Renault Vitality versus G2 Esports. Who takes the trophy? Who gets crowned champion? We're on the way. Get it away as Rizzo knocks it back to Vitality's corner. Quick pass. J Dub scores. J Dub scores. T down for Chicago. Back to J Dub. J Dub steps up. Scores again for G2. They scored the first two goals in game one, so we just didn't give up. You know, we just kept the comms up. Rizzo from midfield. Scrub. Got back over to K Dub. The net's open and Scrub scores. Vitality is still in it. When the opportunity for a goal happens, you know, we score it. So it was a sick moment. They have to get out of their own half. Kada, he tries. Rizzo at least slows him down. Jake Abbey can't stop him there. Around the corner, Chicago, it bounces off the rim. Scrub, he grabs the ball. They have to kill it. Jane Abbs blows it downfield. Fairy Peak. Midfield, he's under one. Fairy Peak carrying this to Kada. Into the ball. Zero-second goal in the first game. That was like fucking nuts. Vitality sent it to overtime. Scrub touch over Chicago in front of the box. Kada off the backboard. Scrub he shot just one. Very big scores. Vitality When you win games like that, it's almost like double the win because you have to like put so much energy and effort into it. Yeah, that was a pretty big shift, I think. We're in game four now of this best of seven. We won the first three games, so we're a match point four times over now. This is the best I've ever seen us play. We have to take this, surely. I'm so excited right now. Takes it back at midfield. Looks on the wing for Chicago. Chicago finds it, and he scores. G2 take the lead. Quick pass, a roll But I was just like, don't, don't worry, guys, don't worry, don't get too late about this. Just as long as we just play good, we're gonna win. Five minutes of gameplay separate them from a championship. Can they do it here, or will G2 hang on? Can we clear it back to midfield? Fairy Peak has a shot. Oh, and he can't save it. Fairy Peak scores. Vitality on the lead. Chicago. Looking for Rizzo, but k takes that one away. j has to flip around, trying to make a save. And now it's Scrub Killer! Two goals for Vitality! Rizzo, G2 need to score with time left. And they don't have a lot of it. That shot is good! Chicago is good! G2 is still alive! I had a clear, so I had two clear to do. I had two clear to do, and the two I had to do, and I had to do. I didn't have to do very well to hold my hand, so I was not really panicked. J'avais tellement d'émotions qui arrivaient en même temps partout, j'avais du mal. Je me suis dit, c'est là, on peut pas la perdre comme ça, c'est pas possible. Fairy Peak flips around. Oh, Rizzo scores! G2, they tie the game! En overtime, Kidup, il me set up une occasion super bien. Je me dis, celle-là, c'est celle que je dois rentrer. Quoi. Je fais la passe à Ferry et puis là-bas, j'ai des étoiles dans les yeux. Quoi. Je saute sur le ballon, je vois que ma voiture est parfaitement alignée avec la balle, je me dis, c'est ma chance. Un tir parfait. Donc... 
Rizzo. Around the corner, Skrunkula has the demo. Kate up around. Ferry picks down! Ferry! Yeah, it was just sick, like, Ferry just, like, jumped up and grabbed me and, like, threw me. We played absolutely insane uh, at the end, maybe maybe the nerves or something, but I kept it cool, I knew we were going to win the whole time, and I popped off, so... World champion, best feeling. There's no better feeling than to be the best in his category, at least for a moment. But, honestly, it's just incredible. Faire épique, c'est un rêve entre guillemets parce qu'on avait commencé à la saison 3, on avait perdu en finale. Donc revenir avec lui et gagner dès la première fois, c'est tout simplement magique. Quoi.